this is an, an AS level maths paper or an, or an IGCSE pure maths paper and I think it's about the same level for the 12th grade math revision for or in the, in the United States. Uh, the questions will involve double angle, that's your cost to A, uh, some differentiation and integration. Right, now for the first part of the question, it says use the identity for cos A plus B to prove that cos 2A is equal to 2 cos squared A minus 1. The second part says use the substitution x is equal to 2 root 2 sine theta to prove that the integration of the square root of 8 minus x squared within the limits of root 6 and 2 is equal to 1 over 3 into pi plus root 3 sorry, plus 3 root 3 minus 6. Now, for the first part, uh, we're going to do cos A plus B is cos A cos B minus sine A sine B. And if A is equal to B, we then have cos 2A is equal to cos A cos A minus sine A sine A and that then that then becomes cos squared a minus sine squared a but we know that cos squared a plus sine squared a is equal to 1 so sine squared a is equal to 1 minus cos squared a so for cos 2a if we now replace sine squared a with 1 minus cos squared a we have that 2 cos squared a minus 1 is same as cos 2a Okay, uh, we are supposed to use the substitution x is equal to 2 root 2 sine theta to prove uh, that. Now, we have to bear in mind that anything that's got uh, a hint of x in it has got to be tested or su subjected to the x, x is equal to 2 root 2 sine theta. For instance, the limits of the integral from root 6 to 2 has got to be changed to some value of theta. So also the x squared and also delta x. So there are three things to buy in mind. The limits of the inter integral, uh, x squared and delta x. Right, we are supposed to prove, uh, we've seen this before, and uh, we are told that x is equal to root 6 because that's the limit of the integral. Okay, x is, equal to, is also equal to 2. So moving on, we then say that x is root 6, uh, that 2 root 2 sine theta is equal to root 6. Now, if we divide both sides by 2 root 2, we end up with that. And of course, root 6 is the same as root 2 times root 3. So the root twos cancel out, and we're left with uh, root three over two. Now, from our uh, magic triangle, root three over two is equivalent to the sine of pi over three. Okay, so theta is pi over three. So our limit then becomes pi over three. Now, for the limits two. We know that 2 is equal to 2 root 2 sine theta. If we divide 2 by 2 root 2, we end up with um, just 1 over root 2. And 1 over root 2 is the sine of, uh, 1 over root 2 is the sine of pi over 4. So in effect, the limit is now pi over 4. So our limits are now pi over 3 and pi over 4. Okay, now this is the original question and uh, if we take the uh, delta x uh, dx for that to start with we know that x is equal to 2 root 2 sine theta as shown above then dx d theta would then becomes 2 root 2 cos theta because when you differentiate sine theta you get cos theta so dx is now 2 root 2 
cos theta d theta. Now moving on to x squared. Now we know that x is equal to 2 root 2 sine theta. So x squared will be 2 root 2 sine theta all squared. And when you square 2 root 2, you get 8 because the square of 2 is 4 and the square of root 2 is 2. So 4 times 2 is 8. So our integral now becomes 8, which is the originally, minus 8 sine squared theta, which is, which is what we got for x squared, multiplied by 2 root 2 cos theta d theta because that is or that, that represents our original uh, dx and if you factorize what's under the square root sign and get 8 out we have 8 into 1 minus sine square theta multiplied by the dx equivalent which, which is now 2 root 2 cos theta d theta uh, when you find the square root of 8 into 1 minus sine squared theta, now the square root of 8 is 2 root 2, and the square root of uh, 1 minus sine squared theta, because 1 minus sine squared theta is the same as cos squared theta. So the square root of cos squared theta is cos theta. And you multiply all that by our dx equivalent, in this case, 2 root 2 cos theta d theta. So, uh, 2 root 2 times 2 root 2 give us 8. And then we have cos theta times cos theta, we have 8 cos squared theta. So, uh, our integral now reduces to 8 cos squared theta, d theta. Right, on this slide, we have to take things very uh, slowly or we get mixed up. Okay. Now, earlier we saw that cos 2a is equal to cos 2 cos squared a minus 1. If we take 1 across and then divide by 2, we end up with cos 2a plus 1 divided by 2 is equal to cos squared a. So now, our integral of 8 cos squared theta now becomes 8 into cos 2 theta plus 1 divided by 2. And if you divide 8 by 2, you get 4. Hence, 4 cos 2 theta plus 1. If you now open your, opened up your bracket, you end up with 4 cos 2 theta plus 4 d theta. And when you integrate 4 d theta, you get 4 theta. And when you integrate 4 cos 2 theta, you end up with 4 sine 2 theta divided by 2 which ends up with 2 sine 2 theta. So now, we have to apply the limits of pi over 3 and pi over 4. And when you substitute pi over 3 into 4 theta, you end up with 4 pi over 3. And then into 2 sine 2 theta, you end up with 2 sine 2 pi over 3. And then, next one, you now subtract while you substitute pi over 4, you end up with 4 pi divided by 4, uh, which is actually pi, plus 2 sine 2 pi over 4. Okay. Now, just to simplify, uh, 2 sine 2 pi over 3 is the same as saying 2 sine 2 pi divided by 3 and 2 pi over 2 the sign of 2 pi over 3 is same as the sign of pi over 3 so you end up with 2 times root 3 over 2 and that gives you 3 for the 2 sine 2 pi over 4 and we know that uh, 2 pi over 4 is same as pi over 2 so the sign of pi over 2 is 1 so we end up with 2 times 1 and that's 2 and finally, uh, when you collect like terms, 4 pi over 3 minus uh, pi plus root 3 minus 2. So, 
Now, because we got pi over 3, uh, we want to make root 3 and root 2 to have 3 as the denominator. So in effect, we multiply uh, root 3 by 3 and divide it by, divide it by 3, and then multiply 2 by 3 and divide it by 3. So now you have 3 as the denominator for each of these terms. If you now isolate 1 over 3, you end up with pi plus root 3 so plus 3 root 3 minus 6 as required. I hope all that made some sense. Uh, please get in touch if you if you wish and uh, look forward to hearing from you. Thank you and bye-bye.